So hi, it's Susan, and um, it's that time of the year again where I'm going to make some caramel apples. I do them every year, but I found a better way, I think. A girlfriend of mine makes them from scratch. I used to use the caramels themselves, but it was a lot of work. I had to unwrap the little wrappers by the hundreds, so I thought I would try her recipe, and we'll see what happens. So here I have... I have exactly three quarter cups of butter. I'm gonna be using one cup of this um, white corn syrup, one can of this sweet condensed milk, and two cups of brown sugar. So what you do is you just throw it in the pot, you heat it up, and you keep it on a lower temperature till it bubbles. Now, I don't have a candy thermometer, but I'm gonna just play it by ear, hopefully it works. She also told me that, which I've never done before, to when you wash your apples, to just dip them in boiling water really quickly and it takes the wax off. You know, the wax that they put on the apples. And I used to use a mixture of the Granny Smith and the Macintosh, but I'm gonna just use the Granny Smith this year. And we don't eat them with the stick, like, you know, kids do. We take one and we slice it up into slices because they're too filling and they're hard on the teeth, especially at my age. So here's the mixture. You know, I made a mistake the first time around. I used yellow, um, golden yellow sugar. I thought that was brown sugar, so I had to throw the whole lot out. Because I, I noticed when I put it in the pot, I go, this isn't packing. Then I realized it's not real brown sugar. So get the dark brown sugar. And I also forgot to tell you, a pinch of salt. I don't know why, maybe for good luck. And then we're just going to put it on the heat, low heat, just till it bubbles. So I had it on low and it wasn't going anywhere. It was barely melting the butter. So I put it a bit higher on medium. So just keep stirring it and watch it because if it sticks at the bottom, then you're going to have a burnt smell. And nobody wants burnt candy apples or caramel apples. So I'm going to keep it on that medium heat. Here are the um, goodies that I'm going to top them with. This is cookie crumbs, which I, I smashed up some cookies. Uh, eyeballs, chocolate sprinkles. These are peanut butter chips. These are some teeth dentures and some mini M&Ms. Some gummy worms for my grandson. Of course, he loves all that goopy stuff, which I can't stand. These are score bits. I almost thought they were bacon bits. These are little white chips and these are peanuts. And then I've got some chocolate on the side here, which I'm going to melt and, and um, just drizzle it over. We'll see how it works. It's not as easy as it seems, right? <clears throat> but I did pretty good, I think, even without the candy. Yeah. Thermo. What a disaster. I tried. See, when you skip steps this is what happens I should have bought a candy thermometer i thought they were good i thought the caramel was hard enough but it was too hot and i watched a video on how to do this after i made them and i did a few mistakes or made a few mistakes and i'm gonna put it down below this channel is called well done and she does the most beautiful fantastic caramel apples and the recipe is the same, but she did use a candy thermometer, number one. I think she put vanilla in it, number two, and she used cold apples. I'm going to salvage these little suckers, and I'm going to... They didn't turn out that bad, but look, the caramel was too hot. So I'm going to drizzle chocolate and um, add the um, little decorations after. I've scraped a lot of it off the bottoms because it all melted to the bottom. So I'm just showing you this so that you know not to do this and to get a candy thermometer. So this is the tricks for the treats that have gone wrong. Not bad for camouflaging the caramel apples that didn't work out. <laughs> At least there's a thin film of caramel underneath this yummy chocolate. So they didn't turn out too bad. I mean, they're not uh, 
the sellable quality, but they're good enough for my grandson and for our family.